Action. <laughs> Alright, so last week, or earlier this week, we showed you how to brush our teeth on Viva, who was not a good example because she's perfect and pretty much lets us do whatever she wants. So today we're going to brush our teeth on Max, who is not quite as cooperative. So, if we've never brushed teeth before, um, we recommend using a small toothbrush. Um, this is just one that we have here at the clinic, but if you are looking to pick one up at the store, I would recommend going to the toddler section and getting a toothbrush for like a three to six year old because they're smaller for your dog's mouth. Um, if they haven't had their teeth brushed before, um, you may want to just get them used to it by having your finger in their mouth first so they're used to having something near them. <laughs> um, otherwise, just kind of brush it along their mouth, get them used to it, give them a treat. Uh, Max has had his teeth brushed before and so we're just going to go right for it. <clears throat> Sometimes you need two people. If you don't, put them on a couch and shove their butt in the corner <laughs> and <laughs> it'll help keep them a little bit more still. A lot of them don't like their front teeth brushed so we can kind of start on the side of their canines. Um, just kind of, he's small so it's easy to just kind of hold his head. Um, we're going to go right in, in a circular motion. And if he pulls back, we just give him a little bit of break and then go right back to it. As we get a little bit further, we can use his lips to kind of help hold his mouth open. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. You know. Sometimes you don't even have to have their mouth open to brush them. If we can get the toothbrush in there, we can close his mouth, just kind of hold his muzzle, and again, brush in a circular motion. <laughs> Good job, Max. Good boy. Good job, man. And you don't have to do very long on each side. It's really just getting that brushing action. But again, I, I like to be able to get the toothbrush in there. Max, good. And then close his mouth, and then we can just... I know. You're good job, Max. You're doing a good boy. It's okay. <laughs> Sometimes if you have someone that's just holding their body, it's a little bit easier. You're doing good. So good we're going to stop at that, but um, keep at it. And the more you do it, the better they will be. Treats afterwards. Um, once you get used to just having the water, we can do a toothpaste. We recommend doing a pet's toothpaste. This is one that we have that is poultry flavored um, and it has enzymes in there that help just kind of with the tartar and break that down. So good luck and call us if you have any questions.